Hello everyone, how are you? It's Lori and I'm going to do a you and them reading and we're going to focus on a current energy exchange, okay? So, I hope all of you are happy, healthy, and having some fun. I am going to give you your messages, some oracle messages. <clears throat> Let's roll the zodiac die first, see if there's any particular signs that you might be dealing with. All right, we have front and center, Aries energy. We have Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, Leo, and Taurus energies. Any of those could be within your own birth chart or people that you are dealing with. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to get here. We're going to look at how they feel about you, their true intentions, what you want from the relationship, what they're seeking from this relationship, the things that might bring you together, pull you apart. Um, we'll look at the energy surrounding your relationship. We'll see if there's anything that is hidden that you may not know about. And we'll find out whether or not this relationship is going to be successful long term. We have the Knight of Wands, so there's definitely a passionate desire here, okay? That is not part of the actual reading, but it is the energy involved in this reading. So let's take a look. I'm going to lay the cards out, and then we'll take a look at each aspect, okay? Let's see what we come up with for you today. Whoops. Oh, well, we'll take both of them. Okay. And outcome cards, advice, whatever it might be. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. So there will be some sort of messaging, learning something, education, hearing something. Okay. And we're going to start out with how they feel about you emotionally. How do they feel? Not their head, not what they're thinking, but how they actually feel. Knight of Pentacles. They feel like they want to offer you something stable. But they only have one foot on the ground, so they're kind of nervous to make this offer to you. I think they're worried that this you might consider this offer too small. Now, they want to offer you something stable, okay? It, but it's it's something that they're willing to work on to grow, um, and they're hoping it does take off, that you'll be willing to accept their offer. Okay, so they have an offer for you. I don't know. I mean, if you're already involved with somebody, it could be an offer to elevate the relationship, do something with them, go somewhere, but they're hoping that you accept it and that it will become bigger than what it is, okay? Let's take a look at what their intentions are towards you and this relationship. Balance. Okay, I'm hearing here that if you are involved with somebody, they're trying to fix something that they may feel that they broke, okay, that they threw, threw the relationship off balance, and now they're trying to work things out, they're, they're making an offer, they're making a gesture here, they have, they really do want to fix this. Now, if this is a brand new relationship, they're trying to offer you, you know, what they think is going to work for both of you, What's going to feel the most balanced for both of you? They do see that there is the possibility of things uh, not being balanced, okay? Not being fair, not being right. They see that there's something that could come in and interrupt the stability of this relationship. So that tells me there might be a person in their life that... Uh, like an ex who may want to come in and disrupt. So like they may send you messages saying, oh, you don't want to be with that loser, you know, whatever it is, okay? They see that there could be something that disrupts the balance. If you're new, if you're in a new relationship, if you're already in a relationship, it's more like something has happened and they just want to fix it, repair it, move beyond, keep growing 
okay? So the intentions are good. No matter what the situation is, the intention on your person's part is good. Uh, keep in mind, if this is somebody new, there just might be an energy around them that may try to interrupt, try, try to interfere, I guess I should say, with your, your person's relationship with you. So they might have a child with somebody that they're not married to. They could have been married to them, but they're not involved with this person. They are not involved with this person. I will say that. Um, they're only, okay, so yes, they are involved with this person in, in the sense that this person will not let this, your person go. That's the only thing I'm feeling. Like this could be a baby, a baby daddy, a baby mama, and they, they just are like, yeah, I have to deal with this person because that, that's the parent of my children, okay? But they're not in love with this person. They are not romantically involved with this person. They've moved on, but maybe their person has not, okay? All right, what is it you're seeking from the relationship? Truth, clarity, understanding, Yeah, you, you, some of you are questioning this person's, your person's other person. What's going on here? Wh why is this person trying to mess with our relationship? Okay, what's going on here? Are they still deeply in love with that person? You need clarity. What you're, you're seeking is clarity. Now, I'm also hearing if you're already involved with somebody and there's been something going on, you're looking for the answers. You're looking for the solution. You want the truth. Okay, you want clarity, you want to regain trust, I'm hearing too. And I'm hearing if they will just admit the truth, that would bring enough clarity to you that you would be able to move forward. That it would like clear out the negative energy completely. All right, what is it that they want from this relationship? What does your person want from this relationship? Ooh, they want magic. They want it all. They feel like this is the right place for them to be. Now, I will I will say I did just hear a whisper of somebody may be a little bit manipulative, a little bit more controlling. So somebody you're involved with could be definitely Aries, um, Leo energy, Taurus energy, the type of person who likes to take the lead, likes to be in charge, um, doesn't mean that they want to control you, but they want to develop this relationship in a certain way, if that makes sense. So they may decide that they want to move things quickly. They may decide that they want to take things really slow. As a Taurus, they may take things slower, okay? As a Leo, they may be that protective type, and they may, like, put, they may put you... Um, or themselves between you and the sidewalk or you and the road. You know what I'm saying? Like they may come to your defense and that may feel a little awkward to you. Okay. You might feel like that's manipulative, but it's not. It's who they are and how they approach romantic relationships. And I do feel like it, it, it's a good thing. Okay. It is a good thing. I am not getting negative manipulation here confidence in who they are, how they see things progressing. They do want to grow this relationship. They want balance. So it's not like they're trying to say, um, you know, hey, it's my way or the highway. I don't get any of that here. They really do want to pool all of the resources together, you know, create something beautiful here, something magical. They have a lot of trust in themselves and in you. They do trust you. And I, I feel like you have the, the broken trust here, some of you. And I, like, like I said earlier, if you could just get the truth from them, it would clear things up so much. That might be what they're offering you here too with that eight, Knight of Pentacles. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what brings the two of you together. What makes this relationship work? Look at that. Balance, equality, the six of pentacles here. 
Yeah, it's it's a right energy. It's a good, equal, balanced relationship. It's harmonious. You both receive and give equally from your own special skills, talents, whatever. Like I said, this person, your person, may be very protective. And that's something that you are willing to be more generous in the area because they're not so good in other areas. I don't know how to explain that. Um, because you appreciate their sense of protection, wanting to protect the family unit, wanting to protect you, you're willing to forgive them for being a little bit overbearing in that department, okay? Because you see where it's coming from. Um, but I'm also hearing, like, they have talents and skills and bring certain things to the table, and you have different talents, skills, and things that you bring, and it's a nice harmony. It's a nice balance, okay? So, like, one person may make all the money, and the other person takes care of everything else. It, it, it's, it's, it works well. Whatever it is, it's right for you two. What types of things bring, uh, you know, distress to this relationship? Oh, that's interesting. The Knight of Cups and the Judgment. See, I'm getting that protection again with the Knight of Cups. I, I definitely get both of you are independent people. Both of you um, have self-respect. You have respect for each other. What I'm hearing here, and this is weird. I don't know how this relates, but somebody owes, somebody's got a history, okay? And it's like, I think that's what's causing this mistrust. There's some sort of past energy that has not been revealed yet. And that's why you're like, if they will just tell me, because you can feel it. You can sense it. You can feel that thing lurking just beneath the surface. There's a shark here in this card, okay, in the water below this person that's riding on a broomstick, okay? So your person wants you to just focus, or you want to just focus on the positive good things instead of focusing on what's lurking just beneath the surface. And I do feel like whoever's hiding or not bringing this subject up, it doesn't ne necessarily have to be, yeah, it is hiding it. If you're not bringing it, attention to it, you're hiding it. What I'm hearing is whoever's holding this energy, and I do think it's your person because you want the truth, you want the clarity, you know something's going on here, but you can reverse the roles. Um, whoever's holding this back feels like you will walk. Okay, so if your person's keeping something from you, they're worried that if they tell you about this, you're going to leave them. Okay, um, you're just going to walk away. You're going to be like whistling Dixie, done, over, gone. So this is a concern for one of you. And I, I am hearing that really it's not even the situation. Like whatever happened, whatever they're hiding, whatever's being held back is not the issue. It's the fact that this person, whether it's you or them, is holding something back and the other person can feel it so that's a broken trust okay if you don't tell somebody something and and they can feel the energy they know you're keeping something from them or you're or you know they're keeping something from you that puts stress into the relationship here and, and that's what this is about it's not about what actually is being kept secret all right, we're going to move on from that because we do have this card here, which is what might be hidden from you, okay? Right now, what is the energy that surrounds this relationship? Look at that. See, 
you're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for that other shoe to drop. Okay, they're not telling me something here. I'm not telling them. Whatever it is, I'm going to just focus on you. You are, they're not telling you what's going on. You want the truth. You want the clarity. You're just waiting for the tower to fall, for the shoe to drop. All right, let's see what, what's hidden. What is going on here? Some sort of addiction. Okay, they've broken some sort of chain addiction. It could be this ex person that they're tied to permanently that they can't get rid of. Um, it could be a police record that cannot be expunged. It is something negative, definitely, that they don't want you to know because they're afraid that you will walk. Okay, so the most likely thing here is they may have had a problem with money in the past. Maybe that's why this offer is small. Even though they want to balance things, okay? And that could be what's going on here. They know you make a lot of money. They don't have money to offer, but they're willing to take care of the kids, take care of the house, you know, do whatever else needs to be brought into balance. But they don't want you to know that they don't have this. But I also am getting that a uh, prior addiction, okay? Um, could be a gambling addiction, could be a sexual addiction, it could be anything, okay? And it's kind of like something that's in the background that could blow any time. But they're worried that if you know this, this is, this is the crux of their problem. This is why they are keeping this from you. They know that they're over this situation. They honestly feel like if they focus on the future, being happy, taking care of themselves, that they have beaten this, okay? They could be an ex-smoker. They know they're done. However, they don't want to tarnish their reputation in your, in your eyes. Like if you suddenly find out that this person had a gambling addiction, you're going to look at that person differently. You can't help but look at that person differently. And that's what they are afraid of. Okay, so every time they say, because they don't have any money, and they say, hey, I need, I'd need, i like to go get groceries. I need 100 bucks or whatever. Whatever it is. Anytime they ask you for money, you're going to be like, I wonder if that's what they're really doing. Should I give it to them? Oh, no, they might go out and get. Do you see why they would want to keep this secret from you? And it's not... Like I said, I don't feel like it's, <sighs> you know there's something that they're keeping from you. I think you would deal with it just fine over time, okay? I think they may want to come forward and tell you I, I, just to keep the things harmonious. All right, will this relationship be successful? And I am asking specifically right here, if this were to be divulged, if they were to come forward, admit the truth, will this six relationship be successful? Absolutely. Nine of Cups, this is going to feel like a dream come true relationship. All right, yes, extreme happiness, self-satisfaction. You finally got the answers that you were seeking, okay? You got the answers that you were seeking. You received the truth. Your wishes are fulfilled. Now you can move on. You can move past all the stress. Let's see what we have here. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Cutting the cord, ending the things that were not there. That opens up new opportunities, new doors for the relationship. Death card. Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you feel like you were meant to be together. Now that you can put all of this behind you, you can rise up, both of you. Rise above this judgment here, okay? Oh, I love this. Focus on the future. You know, you've got plans for the future. You're creating. Look at this. The magician is here, literally creating the future together, okay? You're not alone. You're not alone here in the Wheel of Fortune. This is a, this is definitely going to be a beautiful relationship. Will it have its ups and downs? Absolutely. There's very few relationships that don't. 
Um, and if you don't have ups and downs, it's not really a relationship, I don't think, because it's just too easy, okay? Something's not real. Beautiful outcome here. Um, I do see a, if you are just starting off, okay, moving in together, um, if you are already involved in a relationship with somebody, this could be a marriage proposal coming. There could be a commitment. It, whatever the relationship is, I do feel like there's a new level to this relationship. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this relationship. I hope you've enjoyed this one. This was a good one. This was really nice. Even with this distressful situation, okay, and you're feeling it. You are feeling that energy. It's going to be resolved. I see it being resolved here. It's fear that's holding their person back. Uncertainty. Healing family issues, okay? So there is a need, okay? It says, your love life benefits as you forgive whoever, as you forgive. It says parents, but, you know, the romance angels, they don't care about such things. It can be your parents, but it can be this person as you forgive them. And it is right in that same area in your reading. Let's see what else the romance angels have to say. And the romance angels speak on all aspects of love. It doesn't have to be just romance. Pay attention to the red flag. See, you're feeling it. You are going to get the truth. But it's because you're paying attention to those red flags. Okay? You feel the energy. You know it. You're not trusting. Okay? It says the, the signs are, are right there for you to be cautioned by. To know. To feel. Now, I, will this relationship be successful? It sure looks like it. I did just get a word of warning. Somebody out there, you, right from the start, you're denying the truth. You know the truth of the situation, yet you're, you're not paying any attention. You're just going to blow over because you're hearing the rest of this story and you think it applies to your situation. <sighs> Please use caution. If you're getting red flags way back here, yeah. All right. If you've got red flags before you even came into this message, then this message probably isn't for you. Okay, and I'm not talking like that niggling feeling of what are they not telling me? I mean, there's more, there's bigger in yours, okay? All right, so set yourself free. It's time to take back control of your life. And that is specifically for whoever I was just talking to, or whoever spirit was just talking to, I should say. All right, let's go ahead and get you a whispers of love oracle message here. It was exactly 23 minutes on the timer. 23 of 5. Need for a little bit of a change. A minor change. A little shift. Well, we've got two cards that came out. We've got card 22, which is the heart of the matter. There is more going on here than meets the eye. Boy, if that's not the truth of the situation... I mean, that's exactly what it is. You feel the undercurrent there, okay? And then you have card 45. Be supportive, okay? Make a genuine effort to show that you do care, okay? And that's going to um, help you to hear, let your person speak their truth, okay? They will be able, when they know that you truly do care, they will be able to come forward and admit their truth, speak their truth to you, Um they will also feel your ability to help heal this situation, to move past the difficulties. All right, beautiful messages there. Let's see what else we've got going on, my friends. What else have we got going on? Um, I'm hearing not much more. We're going to keep this short today. I don't know why. We're going to get you a small uh, card spirit animal message here. Let's see what we've got coming out here. Different to get a small or a spirit animal card. This one didn't want to come up. Sea otter, happiness. 
but that's not necessarily for everyone. So let's see what we've got. There is a lot of happiness in this relationship, a lot of blessings, a lot of good energy. All right, look at that puffin partnership. Accept yourself and your partner because and all of your colorful personalities, everything that's good, all, you know, dark, light, bright, dark, whatever. Feel confident about being you, okay? Because you both are joy bringers. Let your community nourish and protect you. Let this person be protective of you. I really feel like Leo, very strong Leo energy coming through there. And teamwork is what is going to give you the best results. So working with your partner, okay? Healing those situations. Realizing that, you know, you can't, if, if you expect somebody to be a failure or an addict the rest of their life, then that's what they're going to be. What whatever we expect from people is what we we the energy we put out to them. All right. When you show them that you love them, that you care for them, and that you trust them to make the right decisions, they will. Ooh, look at this. And it fell out over here with the wheel of fortune. Ladybug, good luck is coming your way. You are a bright energy, positive energy. Let go of any worry and be happy in the here and the now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful. There's that colorful word again. Two cards. Being a loving and color, colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. What is up with the color? All right, there's big here. Is somebody's last name Collier? Colory? Those two came out there. I am getting the trust, the bright orange here. Even though this should be red, ladybugs are red. The orange ones are not the same. They're still ladybugs, but they're not the natives. They're the usurpers. So maybe you overcome a usurper. Okay, so if this, if you've got a negative person around you, I feel like you're going to overcome any invasion of privacy, you know, crossing boundaries, anything like that. Huron is on the bottom of the deck. Have patience, okay? Just have patience with whatever situation you are dealing with. All right, let's see what the uh, angel answer oracle messages are going to be today. If you want to ask a specific question, you don't have it ready yet, please feel free to pause this message and start it back up when you are ready. Otherwise, I'm going to take whatever comes out. We have perfect timing. So everything is going to happen exactly as it's supposed to, when it's supposed to. All right, perfect timing. What else have we got here? We've got forgiveness, letting it go, letting it be. You know what? I'm going to put these over here so that we can get these over here. All right, so we've got perfect timing and forgiveness. Letting the past be the past, letting it go. All right, love that. Let's see what else we've got from the Angel Answer Oracle messages. Remain positive. It is your positive energy that creates the ability to forgive, to move on, to heal, to let go, okay, to help you be in the here and now and free yourself from any worries. And we have a yes answer, and that yes is with an exclamation point. Let us see what that says. Bravo! The decision you've made is the right one for you. There's no need to continue to sort through any options at this point, okay? You know exactly what to do, and you should move forward with your ideas. You've made the correct choice for your personal growth and development. However, some decisions can be a true challenge. Getting out of the situation, okay, if that's what you need to do. If the task ahead of you is daunting or even sad, then proceed with your plans in a way that is life-affirming and self-loving. Look at that Knight of Cups right there. 
Ask your angels, higher power, elevated ancestors to be with you every step of the way. And do not hesitate to call upon your friends or family for support. Wow, that's a beautiful message, okay? So take that as it resonates. Let's get you a couple of letter die here. You know what? I'm hearing something else. Is it blessings? Yeah, I'm hearing blessings. Let's see what well, we've got. Tea leaf card blessings here. I'm smelling something very musky. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. It's I'm smelling a man who's been working outdoors. It, he smells clean. It just is his smell. So if you are a person who has a, a man or a woman that has their... And, and this is a man. This is definitely a man. Um... Like, you smell their, their deodorant, but you can also tell this is a man around you, okay? Then that this message may be for you, in particular. All right, we've got two blessings here. Any more spirit? Two more shuffles. Nothing else. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here for you. The first card that came out is a well. Some sort of wish comes true. You've got the nine of cups right there, okay? And the key, there will be a successful outcome to this situation. Again, right here with the overcoming, with the nine of cups energy. Beautiful. All right. Uh, Jalisa, Jaden, Jamal, Mel, Ducky. Duluth, Des, Casey, Crary, C R A R Y, Crary, Jersey. I'm hearing Jalisa again. Did I already say that? I think I did. All right, somebody, somebody by the name of Jalisa is being called out. Um, and I'm hearing Jolene too. Fabio, Fagan. Ohio, Connecticut, Courthouse, Courthouse, Chortle, A Way of Laughing, uh, Demi, Pam, Pamela, uh, Pomegranate, Pandora, Woman, Winona, Win, Wally, Willie, Wade, Mama, Adamo, April, Jill, Ooh. Jeff, George. Glock, I, I'm not sure what they're trying to say here, Qualm, Kearns, Quay, and it's like they want all three of those words together, I don't know what that means, Ursula, Orissa, Ernie, Ernesto, Edmund, Edith, Ref, Raphael, Yafir, Rajit, Riley, Rosie, Roseman, R O S E M A N, Roseman. Robbie, Bosley, Bessie, Boppy, Solana, Solara, Solana, Soline, 
New York, Rhode Island, um, T-Rex, the dinosaur T-Rex. All right. Candy, cafe, bacon, beacon, Gemma, Jamal, Grady, Gerald, Fred, Fern, Alicia, Ariana, Ajit, Billy, Bailey, Amanda, Ace, Chow, Italy, Bella, France, New Boston, New Boston, Javan, Jackson, and that's what I've got for you guys. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this message. If you have, please tickle tap, boop, or zap that like button. Claim it in the comments. If you happen to be pers uh, interested in a personal reading, please email me. Detail My email address is below every video, okay? If you email me requesting information, I will send you all the details on how it works. Please read everything carefully. I do not do live readings at this time. It's too difficult to coordinate times to talk to people. I've got a lot going on in my life, and I'm sure you do too. So it's best for me just to record the messages, upload it to YouTube, and you get to sit back and watch it, and you get to keep that video for ever as long as youtube keeps it up you're going to keep it up or, or you'll be able to view it okay so talk about bang for your buck all right my loves plus when i do a reading a recorded reading you don't interrupt me with your thoughts and your comments and everything else so your reading is very clear for you okay it stays on point and gets you the information that you really need so keep that in mind all right i love you guys to pieces and until our energy crosses again peace love and happiness Bye bye